you guys. So um, we're here. We're going to start with the ledger um, setting up 25th word protection or uh, otherwise known as passphrase. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with a Trezor and a keep key as well. But uh, just for now, uh, we're going to start with the ledger because it is, after all, the most common and most popular hardware wallet on the market right now. Um, another note. Ledger recently released their uh, Ledger Live software, and this uh, basically replaces all of the individual Chrome plugins that Ledger had for each of the cryptocurrencies they supported. It became pretty unwieldy, and it's, it's definitely a welcome change. Uh, so you're going to get a preview of kind of how to work that as well. Um, so I've already installed it, but if you haven't, you can go to uh, just search Ledger Live on Google, and you'll figure out how to install it. Um, I have none of my accounts um, initialized into Ledger Live right now because I want to look as much like your setup as possible. So I've got zero in here right now. Uh, but my Ledger right now currently does have uh, a regular Bitcoin wallet on there with some coins on there. And uh, so I'll show you how this works in just a little bit. But for now, uh, we're going to set up 25th Word Protection. Uh, do keep in mind, uh, as a disclaimer, when you set this up, if you forget your 25th word uh, and you need to recover your wallet, you'll be in big trouble. Uh, it's very important that you pick a word that you'll remember, uh, and it's not advised that you write this word down because in, in many ways you're kind of defeating the purpose of it in the first place, namely that someone could just pick up where you wrote it down and... Um, recover your wallet from there. And this is why we don't include a 25th spot on the bill file. Uh, it's really something, it's a, it's a fail safe in case someone finds your recovery seed. So uh, do keep that in mind. Uh, you know, move forward at your own peril. Uh, this is for advanced users. So if you don't feel confident that you'll remember the 25th word, uh, we suggest that you don't set this up. But if you do feel confident, then this is how you do it. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our Ledger Nano S, and um, I picked a very simple pin for the purposes of this setup. So it's one three five seven nine, and we're gonna go to check, and we're in. You can hear the little ding there. Um, so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to the settings, right? And you have display and security. So we're going to go down to security. We're going to hit both those. We're going to go down one to passphrase. Okay. And they're set temporary. Uh, I've never used that before personally. Um, I imagine it's just a, for a single session passphrase in case you're traveling, perhaps. I'm not totally sure. Uh, but we're going to go to attach to a pen. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to create a different pen than your primary pen. And it's going to create a sort of, sort of a different backend, if you will. So a different series of wallets. And this allows you to pick which set of wallets you want to show up when you open it. That allows you to have hidden wallets. And it's in those hidden wallets that you're going to hide uh, the majority of your coins. So we're going to create that hidden wallet right now. So we're going to go attach to a pin. It says this feature is for advanced users. Read the FAQ before processing. You're welcome to go read that FAQ if you'd like. I'd recommend that you do so. Uh, but it's uh, going to tell you more or less what I did at the beginning of this video, and that is be very careful moving forward. This is for advanced users, and do not set this up if you don't feel confident that you can remember your passphrase. So we're going to accept like that. And we're going to choose our secret PIN code. So we're going to accept OK. And I'm just going to choose the most simple pin code I can right now, uh, just for the sake of illustration. You will obviously make this a little bit more difficult. I'm going to choose 7777. Okay, and we're going to hit check. We're going to confirm. So we're going to go again, 7777. And check. Okay, now... Here is our secret word. This is not one of the BIP39 words. This is a word that we pick. Okay, so enter a secret passphrase. We're going to go to lowercase 
and I'm just going to choose pass P. A. S S. And I'm going to go to accept confirm and it looks good PASS. So I'm going to hit accept. And we're going to enter the current pin. So this is going to be our the, the, the primary pin that we set up when we set up our device. So the one we always use. So that is one, in my case, one, three, five, seven, nine. And check. Okay. So now we have, I have two wallets on here, two Bitcoin wallets, I should say. Uh, one has... Uh, my Bitcoin on it, I believe I put 0 0.001 on here, and now I have a new one that will have nothing on it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect, okay, and then we're going to reconnect. Now I'm going to put in the 25th word protected pin, and that one was 7... Seven, 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 and check. All right, so now we're over here in Ledger Live, right? And I want to add, I want to see this wallet that I made that's 25th word protected. So we're going to add accounts. I'm going to choose Bitcoin and hit continue, and it's Unlocking the Ledger device, it's telling me to open up the Bitcoin app, so I'll do that. Okay. And it's synchronizing, synchronizing. And I'm going to label this one as safe. Or actually, rather, yeah, I'll leave it as safe. So we're going to add that account. Add account. Okay. Done. Okay, I've got zero BTC in here. So now, remember, this is our 25th word protected one. Okay? So now I have my other Bitcoin. Where's that at? Okay, so I'm going to replug this in. Notice that it only added that one account. It doesn't even know about the other one. So now I'm going to use my original pin, one three, five, seven, nine. Check. I'm going to go to add account. Crypto asset, Bitcoin. Okay. Open the Bitcoin app. Hit continue. Synchronizing. Now, if I had multiple Bitcoin accounts here, I could have 10 and as long as they were made under this pin, they would come up right here. So I'm going to use this one as, I'm going to name this one Dummy. It's got 0 .001 Bitcoin. I sent that, you know, a while ago. So I add account. Okay, so now I've got my Dummy account and my Safe account. So now what I want to do is, ideally I would want to move as much of this over to Safe as possible. I'm going to log into my other the dummy account and now I'm going to log in to the dummy account seven 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 check open it up and want to send to my safe address and I have 0 0.001, so we're going to do 0 0.0009, say. And we'll do hi. And we'll continue. Try. Hmm. 
So I'll need to connect again to the dummy account, which is the primary. One, three, five, seven, nine, and check. Open up the Bitcoin. Okay. Confirm transaction. Okay. Now we have sent the vast majority of our Bitcoin from the dummy account to the safe account. And once those roll over, and there they are, And so the majority of our Bitcoin is in our safe account and not our dummy. So now if someone comes and attacks us. We put in the 13579 pin. And when it initializes, this is the one that will come up. So um, now your coins are mostly safe. You can say, oh, all I have is 60 cents worth of Bitcoin. You know, normally these numbers would be higher. I just use a small amount for this uh, illustration. And oh, we actually have. About 10 times that we have six dollars instead in our safe account that they will never see and this gives us a uh, plausible deniability so that is how you set up 25th word protection on a ledger